Okay guys, we are in Little Texas, Alabama, and we've got your favorite YouTube sensation, Ms. Wheat. And uh, she wanted to bring me down to the town where she grew up. It's called Little Texas, Alabama. And there is a tabernacle here, and it has been here forever. We're gonna go down here and take a look at the sign and see what all it has to say about this tabernacle and we'll talk to y'all in a minute okay we're coming up on this sign here hope you guys will be able to read it it uh little texas tabernacle and campground the little texas methodist tabernacle and campground site of camp meeting since the 1850s the tabernacle, a place of worship, was built by early settlers of the area, of the era. <laughs> I guess our area, wherever you want to call it. The original structure was made of hand-hewed timbers, wooden pegs, hand-split shingles, and sawdust floor. Sides were open except for fence rail barriers. Worshippers camped in open air or in temporary wooden barracks called tents during the long revivals. When revivals were in progress, the campground was governed by camp rules and adopted and then enforced by religious leaders. Williams Chapel was later built. This sign was erected in 1986 by the Alabama Historical Asso Association. <coughs> I don't know if I see the sign up there or not. And here is the tabernacle. Now, she says that it had wooden shingles on the roof when she was young. But, of course, now they've got the metal that's been on there for a long, long time. As you can see, it has been painted several times. But look at this wood, guys. Can you imagine this church being full back in the day of people? You saw these in um, the old westerns. They, they had these buildings. Look at this. Just sawmill cut timbers. Look at this. Tan hued logs. It's just amazing to see. Look at these big old things. Concrete yeah. posters, pillars. They probably added those over the years, haven't they? Pro probably so. I would think. And probably got uh, termites or whatever rotted at the bottom and they cut it off and raised it up here but look at this look at this pegged in here now that's some work for the settlers back in them days you can see all the axe marks on the wood <coughs> it's just amazing at how big it is got the big fans in here now they still have outdoor services here every once in a while, even though they have now built a church, a big church, and we'll show you the outside of it. I don't know if it'll be unlocked and open. Look at the bee things. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they've taken the bee things down, but there, there's all our bumblebee things down there. How cute. <laughs> Look at that. Look, it's still the, the, got the knots in it even. Look at that. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. How things were done back in those days. Now, did y'all ever have services out here when you were a kid? Yes, we had. We would come once a year for a, a week. Every night they would have camp meeting they had it then too but people didn't stay in tents then they would go home oh okay because we didn't have to ride horses <laughs> yeah the buggies, buggies that's right <laughs> so yeah didn't take you forever to get there and uh, well amazing amazing look at these old seats you can tell some of these have been here a while too look at there yeah. oh, that wow. was had a, a board in there at some point in time look at there did some damage right there to it but and this has been replaced, but look at this. Unreal. Look at these huge, huge. That's got to be, gosh, 14, 15 inches. Those logs, I mean, holy cow. 
You had to have some stout animals to pull them together. And look at these. Look at the pegs in here, guys. It's put together with wooden pegs. It was put, originally. She said it was put together with wooden pegs originally. And you can see some of the original work here. It's amazing to me how they did all this. Look at that. Now, was it whitewashed back when you were a kid, or was it just the plain wood? Thank you for thinking I would remember. <laughs> oh, you don't remember? You were just here because you had to, huh? <laughs> Look, there's a peg that still they didn't cut off up there. I don't know if you guys can see that because it's a ways. But there it is. And look at the dirt daubers. <laughs> That's a, mud daubers are a thing here in not where we live. But it's just amazing to me to see all this old architecture. This how is why the seats were and all that is. Yeah, man. Uh huh. So this was cut out and notched in there. Look at that. I don't know if you guys can see that. And then the pegs put through there. You know, you had to really think about what you were doing back then. They built stuff to last. And boy, that had to be some drilling and some. You know, everything was done by hand back in those days. They didn't have all these modern conveniences that we have now. You got the original sawdust floors? Has the original sawdust floors. Well, these are more sawdust, but it's been added over years. Oh, but yeah. this is the way it was back then. Now, I wonder if it had a uh, this, this area here back then. You don't know. I don't remember. But, I mean, you know, even I it... Know. She's old, but she ain't that darn old. <laughs> I remember the pulpit was there like that. Oh, she says the pulpit area was here like this when she was a little girl. So it was prob it's probably original. It's just unreal to me. And you can see how they carved down these pegs. It's just, I've seen this done, but I've never seen it like this. Just look at it, how they sharp shaped them down where they're knives or whatever else i forget siluses whatever they are to make them tapered where they could drive them in there hard and these just didn't get cut off it is unreal to me amazing 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 <coughs> huh well this is something to see and this thing is huge too i mean my goodness i wonder what the dimensions of this guy to be I would say it's at least, let's see, uh, 12 or 14 foot in between those posts. And then there's one, two, three, four, and then a good five or six foot opening here for the doors, entrances to it. This thing is probably over 100 foot square, I would say, over 100 foot on each, each side. So this is unreal what people can do and this part of it is natural wooded here and then the outside edges have been most likely whitewashed but they could have been painted i guess but you know back in the day people whitewashed everything because there wasn't no such thing as paint you got out there and it's a it's a type of white mud that is watered down and it's uh it's used to wash stuff it's unreal this is this is something to see and look at all these benches i bet people came from miles and miles around is why they had to camp with their horses and buggies and whatever when they had these things and you know back then you didn't have revivals like you have them now they had them, if they had one once a year, they were lucky, and they were lucky to get a, a pastor mm -hmm. or a preacher or whatever to come around back in the 1850s especially. He may not come but once a month or once every two or three months because they went on their rounds around the communities, you know, the different communities. So this had to have been one heck of a thing when it was going on. I bet there was some good eating. <laughs> <laughs> Back in them days. You can look at me and tell I think a lot about food. <laughs> <clears throat> Let 
this is something to say we're gonna go on the outside of it and get a better view of the outside of it now but it's just amazing to me how these things could be built look at these big old heavy timbers and how they're pegged together like that huh and it's really held up well it has held up well it's a beautiful area here too. Look at these big old needle oaks. Somebody's made them a star and put up on the top of it here. Beautiful area. Miss Wheat says she is related to a lot of the people that um, live around this area or was it when she was a child coming up of course it's gotten uh bigger now got the three crosses here isn't that pretty got some little buildings out here but here's a side view of it our family still does our family reunions right over there wow. we meet once a year I can't remember, I think it's in September, but over in that area. Huh. Come bring a, a potluck, you know, just bring a casserole or cookies or whatever you want to bring. Huh. She said, I, I don't know if you guys could hear her, but she said her family does, still does a potluck family reunion here where everybody brings dishes and they get together and they come over here to this uh, covered pavilion area for their um family reunions and that's nice so and what does this say commissionary commissionary commissary i'm sorry Comma commissary. commissary i couldn't even read it either commissary huh <laughs> good gracious Little Texas Tabernacle, Williams Chapel Methodist Church. And <laughs> look at their moss growing up here on top of it. The staples are coming up. It's just amazing how the weather, and it is so hot here, you know, that the, the weather just draws those things right out of there. Oh, it's got a big old barbecue pit, it looks like, over there. No, no, that's not a barbecue pit. Those are just the tables that are concreted at the bottom. I guess so that you don't have to worry about anybody getting hurt with them. <laughs> it's a pretty area here. It is real pretty. And you say... Now your family are buried, are they buried in that cemetery back here? Yes, I'm kin to almost everybody back there. <laughs> you said she's kin to almost everyone back here. <laughs> so this is uh this will be an interesting thing. We're gonna go over and take a look at the cemetery too. Let her put a little flower on the uh on her mom's grave because her mom's buried here. And uh I met your mom back years and years ago. Mm -hmm. Sure did. So, it is really nice. This is beautiful. This is really pretty. I love all these old oak trees. Got all the moss or something. <laughs> what is this? It's some kind of moss, but it looks like it's been sprayed. It, no, it's a, there, there, it's a fern, and when it rains again, they'll open back up. It's like a resurrection fern almost. Oh. Huh, I never heard of that, but yeah. Okay. She said when it rains, these it's a fern and it'll all open back up and be real green and pretty again. Huh. And it just naturally gets in these trees down here. Mm -hmm. You see this sand? We have the nice gray sand down here in this area. Up there where I live in uh, southwest or Midwest Georgia is nothing but red clay. And when I say red clay, it was red clay. 
Now we're going to walk over and take a look at the church. Now she says it has expanded several, several times since she was a child. But uh, this main section here, uh, there in the distance with the cross on the front, was the main structure. And she doesn't remember whether the building, the section there to the right, may look like it's to the left. I'm not sure how to look on the camera, but uh, the older looking section there with the air conditioner out the window there by my vehicle what could have been there but you know when you're a child you don't pay any attention to that kind of stuff anyway so we're going to take a look at it you remember running around here when you were a kid and hunting easter eggs <laughs> hunting easter eggs all kind of stuff mm -hmm. well fire the flag is tattered we need to get them to put a new flag up there don't we it's mine Maybe some of your relatives coming up there. <laughs> I hope I have the stabilizer on on this so that it won't be real shaky. But here's the original building. I'm assuming it's probably locked, right? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, I would assume it would be nowadays. So much... Back in the day, our little church we went to was never locked. But you know, that was back in the day and things have sure changed since then. Ooh, look at that huge wasp nest up there in that top. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I hate to know it was me. Look at the dragonfly, we. <laughs> Got their cana lilies out here. These are pretty. These are a different color than the ones that I have at home. And I like those too. Those are real pretty. Uh -huh. I'd like to have some of those at my house. I've got something that's like that, but it's taller and it's red. No, they're pink. The ones I have are bright, real bright pink. Huh. And this is a, uh, what is this, sweet? Is it a swamp hibiscus or a I don't, I don't really remember what it was. Huh. She said it could be a swamp hibiscus. I was thinking of that. What is it? Texas star it might be that. something. Yeah. I think it's, uh, looks kind of like a Texas star. Look at this grasshopper, you guys. <laughs> He's trying to hide his little self. <laughs> but we got you, buddy. We got you. <laughs> And there's another one. I'm glad they got the uh, plates of glass over the stained glass windows. You hate to think about it, but there somebody's done slung a rock through that one. Hopefully it was an accident. Look at that. I bet it's really pretty inside. 